Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's episode, we are going to work on another diamond painting. Um, this one is a red dragon breathing some fire, so it looks pretty cool. And I know you don't like these as much, but this is kind of my stress relief from the wooden models and miniature models. This just kind of helps me uh, prepare for doing any of those, because this is definitely less stressful and uh, something I enjoy doing just to kind of get me ready for those uh, harder models and everything but uh, so uh, but that's what I'll be doing today but as always I'm just gonna show you when I get a little section done but and with this one it's got this little plastic film that I'm gonna be taking off and then it's got these little ridges that you can kind of see and uh, I'm gonna take this off and then put some of that uh, put some uh, parchment paper over top of it and uh, to kind of help it and then I'm going to use an iron to try to get this out um, or just use a, a towel and uh, just spray with a little bit of water and then just use a iron just on very light heat not heavy heat but light heat just kind of go over these marks and see if I can get them out and everything and then I'll put uh, you just have the parchment paper on and then I'll cut it in in a little grid just to do a little section at a time and then I'll uh, I'll be just showing you each little section as I go along and again even though this is a longer one all the everything is lined up this way to do it just uh, so you don't have the the long ends you know kind of going over the edge and everything but as always uh, if you like my videos please like share subscribe leave comments and uh, I'll get back to you Hi everyone, welcome back. So as you can see, we finally finished our dragon diamond painting. Uh, turned out pretty well. So I didn't show putting on the Mod Podge onto it to seal it up or anything. I had done that the last couple of times, so I just didn't didn't feel I needed to show that again. But I used pretty much the same type, just used the glossy uh, Mod Podge and just coated. Uh, the whole thing side to side up and down and then uh, once I was done then just let it dried overnight and then uh, just had to order a custom frame because I like to get it as close as possible because these are all in centimeters not inches so it definitely doesn't fit in like a regular frame especially if you get the bigger sizes and everything but uh, just waited for that to come in and just popped it in and uh, looks pretty good so and I definitely enjoyed putting that together. And again, with these, the, the further away you get, the more detail you see. And the bigger ones that you get, the more detail is in it to be able to see a lot better. So, but, uh, but now I enjoy putting that together. Um, as always, like I said, it gives me a little bit of stress relief before I start working on uh, any other wooden models or book nooks or whatever, because this isn't too easy to put to put together is just uh just a, a little bit relaxing and all that so but uh but yeah i hope you enjoyed it and uh as always please like share subscribe leave comments and i'll get back to you and with that we'll see you on the next episode